Hey, this is Darius Aria for our inaugural Rome This Week. And this week, we're visiting Larga, Argentina. It's a site we've talked about many times, but I want to take a specific look today at the conservation work that's going on here. Finally, this site is being rehabilitated and it will be accessible. We will be able to see some new imagery of what the site is going to look like when it's open to the public, hopefully open to the public as early as this spring in 2022. But what we can see just panning along here on the far side is Temple D that goes underneath the street over here to Temple C over to the round Temple B behind which was the Cordia where Julius Caesar was assassinated and finally Temple A. So let's go and take a little walk around this site and point out some of the work that's going on. You can already see that the crane has been here in place and in action for several months now. Well, let's go around the site here. Actually, right down below, right here, this is one of our two latrines. So when Julius Caesar was assassinated, the courtier where he was killed is shut down and latrines are placed on either side of this site. So this green patch of grass right here actually represents one of the two latrines that were on either side of the Cordia that is ultimately walled off. Let's go take a look. So it's a beautiful day in Rome. In January, the sun is out. We can step right up here. We step right up here. And underneath this pine tree right here, panning down, here are some of the remains of the walls that belong to the Curia, where Julius Caesar himself was assassinated. Uh, you can't see too much work has been done here, but if we look at Temple B, if we look at Temple B, we can see indeed it's been recently cleaned. We can see the tuff columns, we can see the brickwork where the open spaces between the columns have been filled in in the imperial period and then ultimately still stuccoed over so it would have had that appearance of marble in the ancient times. The last restoration here is taking place uh, after the fire of 80 AD, the fire under the Emperor Titus, which devastates much of the campus marshes. So it's amazing to think that we're standing right now on top of the remains of the Curia where Julius Caesar is assassinated on the Ides of March. We have a great video on that. Keep in mind that you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, Ancient Rome Live. We can take a look right up here. Again, this is an area that still needs to be cleaned, but panning down right over here, we can see some shops that are added in the imperial period. Some people want to see some of these shop spaces as the Statue Aquarium, where you actually have the office of the, um, of the uh, curators in charge of the aqueducts, right next to Temple A. And Temple A here that has become a church in the Middle Ages is usually identified as the Temple of Euturnae, who is a water goddess thereby making it pretty um, logical to place the Statue Aquarium next to that temple of that goddess of water. And directly down below us, we can see just right here, the trough of the other mega public latrine, one of the greatest public latrines in the Roman world, again, created here after the assassination of Julius Caesar. <laughs> Beautiful sunny day here in January. We're dropping one video a week on our YouTube channel. You can also follow my YouTube channel, Darius Aria. There's a lot of related content. We have our master class that you can sign up for at ancientromelive.org. There's a master class at the end of each month, the last Sunday of the month. And we are offering two free seminars twice a month it's all on our calendar. This week, we, uh, we just talked about who is Giacomo Boni, the excavator of the Roman Forum. There's lots to learn at Ancient Rome Live. 
And we still have an ongoing online course that you can sign up for, and that is the Engineering and Architecture of Ancient Rome. So if we pivot back into the Temple of uh, Temple A, maybe the Temple of Yaturna, we can even zoom in and see some of the frescoes underneath that little app space. So this is becoming the lime kiln, uh, the lime burners of the Middle Ages, San Nicola as a patron saint. So some of these spaces get reused in the Christian era, but most do not. And we can pivot over here to the newly clean pavement. This is restored in 80 AD after the fire, but that travertine stone there has been repaved in recent months as part of the restoration work funded by Bulgari. So what's going to happen here if we take a look at the grass down below, we can actually see a whole series of new holes have been dug that are very uh, rectilinear and in a row, you're gonna have a walkway that's gonna be placed right on top of those uh, holes for piles. And you're gonna have then an accessible walkway that doesn't uh, impinge upon or damage the ancient surfaces. So that's what's in part being constructed today, a new route for future visitors. And over here where the staircase is, they're gonna be inserting an elevator. Let's go take a look at some renderings. What's in store for us? So you're going to have a museum space. You're going to have information. You're going to have much more of, of the great access and some of the finds that we associate with this site are going to be returning to their original location. So it's going to be pretty, pretty awesome. This is giving an idea then of the walkways, paneling and wood, guardrails and so forth. It's kind of what you're seeing already in the form of Julius Caesar. This area right here, which is up until this day abandoned, you see it's going to also be a museum site. So there is some good that's going to come to this site. And you can see right here, it's going to be accessible to everybody. This is the elevator shaft. So it really is a wonderful opportunity that we're going to get with Largo Argentina. And if we come right over here, we can see the confines of the uh, archaeological site, temples A, B, C, and D, Yuturna, Fortune of this day, probably Feronia, maybe here the Lares or the Nymphs. We can see prior to the excavations, the medieval neighborhood that is destroyed in the excavations done in the 20s, in the fascist era. Here are the great discoveries. This head of Fortuna found in Temple B, originally identified as uh, Apollo, but actually it's Fortuna. She's in Monte Martini. So we have a lot of really interesting history that's being detailed to us. Great discoveries, big archeological excavation. It's been in a lamentable shape. And now in recent years, in recent months, so much is happening. We're really excited about the opportunities that's going to give to everybody because you're going to be coming inside finally once again a great window into republican roman times but it's also behind temple b the remains of the curia where julius caesar was assassinated in the ides of march it's a great project it's in progress and we're happy to share this progress with you as things advance and hopefully we'll take you into the site as early as this spring so that's rome this week from largo argentina Thanks for joining and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Ancient Rome Live.